Well, here's one of my favorite things, a video screen. But it shouldn't just sit here empty. What should we do with it? One thing that's good to use with screens like this is the Raspberry Pi, a miniaturized computer. Here we see the Raspberry Pi 3A Plus in the Coupe or Coupe Royale Blue case from Pimeroni. After the Raspberry Pi boots, we see that it starts playing video, in this case, part of a playthrough from a classic video game. Of course, a Raspberry Pi only does what it does because of whatever programs are running on it. We have it running a program named Membrane Monitor, a free, or technically pay what you want, application from Membrane Software. We can download Membrane Monitor in the form of a full disk image, which we then burn onto a micro SD card using a program such as Etcher, or we can get Membrane Monitor as a Debian package, which we then install onto a Raspberry Pi system already running Raspbian Linux. Once the Raspberry Pi is installed with Membrane Monitor, we can send it commands over the network using Membrane Control, an application for PCs running Microsoft Windows or Apple's Mac OS. Membrane Control's graphical interface allows us to maintain contact with and send commands to any number of Raspberry Pi devices. There is, in fact, a third application involved, Membrane Media Library. The Media Library's job is to run on a PC or Mac and provide streaming access to video files. Using our control application, we can see the video files available from the Media Library. We have some more footage from classic video games here. And we can select a time position from one of those streams and command our monitors to play it. There's also a playlist function for those times when just one video isn't enough. Of course, what works on a small monitor also works on anything larger. Here, we have the Raspberry Pi connected to a wall-mounted television screen. And it works with smaller things too, such as the Raspberry Pi touchscreen display. I've been meaning to put a case on that thing. Maybe I'll get around to that one of these days. Raspberry Pi devices are relatively inexpensive, at about $25 to $35 US for the board, and another $10 or $15 for a case if you want a case, that is. So, we can get another one of our gameplay loop screens going here and see what it's like with two. Or, how about three? Or how about four? Of course, if video game videos aren't your thing, you can use whatever other movies you like. I know one little dog who always likes a good chew, and I do so enjoy seeing him in action. Or, we can make use of Membrane Monitor's ability to launch the Chromium web browser. By programming a list of URLs into the monitor, we can set up a customized information feed for each room of, say, a home or a business. What would you do with a screen or a set of screens like this? Whatever it is, you can try it any time by getting your hands on a Raspberry Pi and by downloading all of the applications in this video from membranesoftware.com or the short URL mbrn.tech.
send us a message on Twitter, we are at Membrainsoft, and follow to receive updates on latest developments and software releases. We also accept messages on our site at mbrn.tech contact. Thanks for watching. Until next time, enjoy the technology and have a great day.